Learning objectives include decimal reduction time uh, and factors affecting the efficacy of antibacterial agents. Microbial death rate, um, it is, for microbial death rate, it is observed that organisms do not die instantly. If, like, for example, if you heat them, um, at certain, when a certain temperature is, is reached where the organisms start dying, it has been observed experimentally that they do not die all, all of, uh, suddenly or instantly. Um, so there would be a, a partly reduction in the number of organisms. And that is called a, a decimal reduction. So this is a, a data from an experiment where this is the time here. In initially, the organisms were these many, number of survivors. We started heating them, heating the, the culture. And after every minute, we started counting the number that was left there. So this was a viable count. So there was a reduction. Uh, let's say every minute, there was a tenfold reduction. This, this has been experimentally proved that at certain degree, even if you maintain that temperature right there, where the organisms start dying, they would not die all of them together. There would be a fractional reduction every minute or every uh, time unit. If we graph this observation here uh, on a log paper where we have time exposure here and the number of organisms that survived that uh, heat on this side on the y-axis, we would see a line there, which is a straight line here. And we can calculate this D, what we call a decimal reduction time, which is also called a D value. So D value basically is the amount of time in which there is one log reduction in the number of organisms. So it is the time required to kill 90% of the microbes at a given temperature. It is also called as D value, so time to drop the value by one log or a tenfold. Very useful um, term, D value. If we know that, we know that this much time would be needed to kill the organism completely in a sample. Now, there are factors that influence this killing uh, or removal or death of the organisms. Number of, our, number of micro, microbes in a sample also influence the, uh, the, the, the am amount of time needed to eliminate or kill those organisms. More the number, more is the time required to kill the organism from that sample. If there, are organic, there is organic matter available within the, in which the organisms are present, like there are pr proteins, uh, they, they have a protective effect. They protect from the effect of heat, for example, or even the chemical that we use as a disinfectant or for sterilization. pH also plays an important role. It has been noticed that acidic pH uh, encourages death of, and it increases the, the death rate. Temperature, at higher temperature, if you use the same chemical at low temperature and at high temperature, it has been seen that uh, at high temperature, the same concentration of the chemical is more lethal. So temperature also has an important um, contribution. Exposure time. So longer the time, if you give longer the time for heat or, or chemical treatment, the more number of bacteria would be killed. And also depends on the microbial characteristics. So if uh, the bacteria has a different ingredients in them as a composition-wise, like, for example, if a mycobacterium tuberculosis versus E. coli, E. coli, because the composition of these two bacteria are totally different, if you um, treat this, these two organisms with the same chemical, you would see that, the, it, that it would be hard for mycobacterium to kill with that concentration of the time um, compared with E. coli. So microbial characteristics also plays an important role. As I mentioned, the concentration of uh, antimicrobial is also important. So more concentration uh, concentrated the, the chemical is, the more effective it is. But that goes to, to certain level. At, at some level, you would not see, if, even if you increase the, the, the concentration of the chemical, uh, it would not have a significant uh, increase in the death rate of the organism.
So that also means that for any antimicrobial agent that you use, you have to know that how much concentration is effective. Now, as I mentioned that if there are more number of bacteria in a sample, uh, it requires more time. And this is an experimental proof here that if, if the, the initial number was log 3, there is 90% reduction in one minute. You could see that in three minutes, these organisms, they would, they would be eliminated. But if the number is doubled, you would need a double time. So based on everything else is the same, same environment, same pH, same concentration, or same intensity of heat, if the organism number is more, it would require more time. For death rate, um, there are two more useful terms that you should know. One is called thermal death point. Thermal death point basically is the lowest temperature at which the cells in a culture are killed in 10 minutes. So it is the lowest temperature that the organisms are killed in 10 minutes. So, so there's a temperature and there is a time in 10 minutes. That gives us thermal death point. There is another term called thermal death time. Here, uh, the time is the minimum time uh, during which all cells present in a culture are killed at a certain a given temperature. So these terms are very useful too. In summary, uh, it has been noticed that the organisms at, at, at any concentration of chemical or any intensity of heat, they do not die instantly. They start dying, but there is a decimal reduction. So, but the death rate is constant. If you keep all the concentration same, all the intensity of the heat same, everything, I mean the environment same, you would see that the organisms die constantly at a certain rate. So you can predict the rate of their dying. Uh, decimal reduction is the most useful value that, that we use for uh, knowing the, the uh, efficacy of, of uh, certain uh, antimicrobials and, and also uh, physical uh, methods like heat.